splits off top of the hives we got the crew coming in the morning we're gonna start pulling pulling supers off in the morning extracting honey we're gonna finish up stay ahead of them finishing up pulling these splits off and moving them to the new yards we created last weekend once we set up um, we'll get some done today ahead of them and, and that way we can stay ahead of them through the rest of the weekend and early part of next week we will hadn't checked these splits for, to be queen rights yet. We'll do that as we go through. Just open them up and look in the middle of the hive to find brood. If there is brood, if they're queen right, we'll set them off on the trailer. If they're not queen right, we'll just remove the double screen board and, and leave the box in place. And that way they're, they are, they'll be removed as they move through and pull supers and they can Whenever we store our supers up, we will store those boxes of drawn comb with them. Um, we'll be left with just one single, single deep brood box for each hive as we move through the weekend and, and get these supers off. As we pop the top and look into, just dig right down to the middle of the hive, pull the frame up, Start checking for brood. This one is not queen right. Oh, we've got just bee bread and honey stored up in these, this hive. All we'll do is just pull this double screen board out of the way, set it on the truck, leave this box in place on the supers. Those honey frames that's in this, we'll pull off and extract with the, with the rest of these supers. And store store these boxes of comb up where we store our supers at go through them and find them queen rat we'll move them on the trailer so to check for queen rat just kind of move move on down you see how the bees are clustered kind of to this side i just quickly jump slide these back kind of jump right towards the middle and pull the frame up in the middle there's some brood there's actually brood emerged out. Um, but there's brood, that's queen right hive. That's so all we need to see. We're gonna close that back up. Pop the hive off, set it on the trailer to move. We'll leave the double screen board glued down. Leave the box gl glued down to the double screen board here. Pop the double screen board off on the bottom. Let this act as a bottom board for when we move the hive. Um, when we get to the new yard, we'll just pop, pop the box off of the bottom board, set the hive on the pallet, shake the bees off the bottom board into the hive, and uh, carry the bottom boards back to store. And that's, that's how we move them. We leave the, the original top on this box, grab a new top off the truck, place on this hive, and, and uh, it's good enough, ready to go.
So, the results here were pretty bad. Had 17 splits, wound up with eight queen right highs. This was a somewhat of an experiment on this yard, not by choice, but because I had to. I had a, a week that we made these splits. Cells that I were using were starting, were emerging out when I, when I placed them in this high, these hives. So the last, last yard I added splits to. Um, they were emerging out. I put them back, the virgins back into the cells and mashed the end of the cell, cells closed and stuck them in the hive. And uh, it did not work out. Had terrible, terrible queen rights at this. But eight's better than none. So we'll take what we got and, and move on. There's one yard down. Moved new splits onto this yard. Got not but 13 hives moved. Like to have more than that. We may fill in a, a handful more later. But come springtime, we'll, we'll make splits here and, and fill the rest of this yard on out to 40 hives, at least 40 hives. Uh, it'll be just fine. You probably see everybody when they haul their bees doing it at night. And it is a little better to do it at night. You get more bees in the box. But just moving, these hives are, are just splits that's going to be started for um, just getting them to overwinter and, and be honey producers in the springtime. So we're not really worried about the numbers right now or leaving, whether we leave behind foragers or not. As long as we've got a good laying queen and plenty of frames of brood in there, these will recover those foragers really quickly and be built out strong pretty fast. Flow's over with, we will come back and put bucket feeders on these and keep some light syrup going on them until they, the ones that don't have 10 frames drawn out, until they get all their frames drawn and um, get a good, good sized colony and plenty of food, st food stores in the hive. We will we'll keep, keep buckets on until that time.
That is all the splits moved off of the hives here at the Milton yard. As you can see, these bees are very defensive today. It is not typically this way, but there's a reason for it. You, a lot of the, you hear different people say, a lot of people say that their hives have been pretty, pretty calm, pretty docile for a long time, then all of a sudden they open them up and they are extremely aggressive. And that's the case here. And the reason for that is they have had a large amount of brood through the springtime up until this up until this point because the flow's been going and they've been growing and everything's been been going great for them all of a sudden they they still had that large amount of brood in the hive but the flow has suddenly quit um, we've been in a drought here we've hadn't had rain for at least three weeks now so the flow has stopped but they they have a very limited amount of resources to feed that brood so they they when those, those resources stop coming in, they become very defensive to guard what they have. And that's the purpose of seeing your hives all of a sudden get really mean and really defensive. All right, got one more yard down. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. Just 11 hives here. We've, we'll probably move a few more here before we're finished. Got a, a few more yard, got one big yard left to move. And a few more hives scattered here and there. We'll get filled in in some of these lower populated yards. I highly suggest not wearing thin wind pants on a day like today, these bees are really aggressive. They bake me up today. But we're gonna call it a day. Continue in the morning moving the remainder as the honey crew begins extracting honey. I'll make some videos on, on that process on how those guys use their mobile rig and, and show you that over the next week or two.